<laughs> Here a while back, all the Rage and Quadcopter cameras were how much of an angle you had on the, on the FPV camera. Some people joked about having them at 90 degrees and things like that. This one here is about 40 degrees. And instead of having so much camera angle anymore, a bigger issue has come up where it's more about the camera uh, field of view on how much uh, it, how much the camera can actually see and that helps you with not only your up and down You know so you can see where you're going, but also helps you on the side So when you turn like this you can still get a little bit of peripheral vision out to the sides You know either direction to where you can see now this camera here I believe it comes with a 2.1 or 2.8 millimeter lens. It's a Fox ear. I think it's a 2.8 well today I have a uh, 2.1 lens that I'm going to try. I wrote 2.1 on there so I wouldn't forget which one it was. I also have a 1.8. Now I was talking to Brain Drain and he said a lot of people are using the 1.8s now because these don't have, they don't give you the fisheye view, but they do give you a large field of view. So we're going to take a look at these differences and I'm going to try to fly through this gate back here behind me and we'll, we'll see what kind of luck I get with that. with the 2.8 default lens that comes on here was pretty easy that's probably just because that's the one I've been flying with most of the time so I'm gonna try to put the uh, 2.1 on and we'll see if there's any difference Difference. This is the 2.1 millimeter lens and it felt a little weirder going through the gate It didn't feel like I was quite going as fast as I was with the other one, but maybe I was going slower I don't know also I could see a little bit of the propeller down the bottom of the screen So now I'm going to try the 1.8 and hopefully the 1.8 is Dramatically different. We'll see So that was the 1.8. Okay, some observations about these. The 2.8 millimeter, the original one that was on here, I've been flying with it for a long time and I've had no problems with it. When I put the 2.1 on, oh, better unplug this battery. When I put the 2.1 on, I felt like I could see quite a bit more and I actually had a lot of fun trying to hit the gate and I felt like even when I was coming around like this and I could, not, you know, coming around and I couldn't see the gate, but then I kind of could with the peripheral vision, I felt like it was coming a little sooner and I was able to see it a little sooner and I was able to, you know, hopefully get lined up a little better. Now with the 1.8, I feel like it really opened up a lot more, you know, but you could see a little bit when I was moving the camera up and down that you could see a little bit of fisheye at the top and the bottom. But when I was flying, I didn't notice it at all. I didn't notice anything wavy, you know, kind of, you know, curving. And you can tell the fisheye look is kind of when it kind of goes whoop at the top of the screen and kind of the opposite down here at the bottom. And the only time I could see it was when I was on the horizon and moving it up and down. I could see it. But when I was flying, like I said, I couldn't see it at all. Like, And this is the 1.8 millimeter lens that's still on here.
So as far as it goes as to which one I'm going to end up using, I'm probably going to leave the 1.8 on here. And I think it's just going to be a big advantage in the races just because you're going to be able to see everything a little bit sooner than everybody else. And especially if you're coming over the gate like this and you're looking down at, for the gate underneath you, you'll see it a little bit sooner and hopefully be able to line up you know, a little bit sooner to get through the gate. Anyway, the 1.8 versus the 2.1 versus the default uh, 2.8 millimeter lens. Um, I'm probably gonna stick with the 1.8. Anyway, if you have any questions about these lenses, leave them in the comments. I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.